What skin color were Jesus, the Virgin Mary, and his earthly father, Joseph the carpenter, while they were on earth? Was it white or black? Well, for a very long time, the Europeans who seemingly introduced Christianity to Africans have always depicted Jesus as a white man with long blonde hair and blue eyes. While this may be what is generally accepted, there have been others who think that this description of Jesus is not true. Instead, they believe that it's very much likely that Jesus is a black man. Well, this group of people may just be right because recently Russian President Vladimir Putin unveiled some 14th and 15th century pictures that revealed that Jesus was indeed a black man. So the question is, why did the Europeans depict Jesus as a white man? What exactly are they hiding? And what exactly did the 14th and 15th century pictures reveal? Let's find out in this video. But first, what exactly does the Bible reveal about the physical appearance of Jesus? As we earlier stated, the West has always depicted Jesus as a bearded, white-skinned man with light blonde or brown wavy hair. However, the fact is, the Bible doesn't exactly offer much clue about Jesus' physical appearance, but the fact is that all the evidence we have today shows that he probably looks different from what he has been portrayed as. In fact, most of what we know comes from the first four books of the New Testament, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, which only say that Jesus was a Jewish man born in Bethlehem and raised in the town of Nazareth in Galilee during the first century. Also, when Jesus was arrested in the Garden of Gethsemane before the crucifixion, and Judas Iscariot had to point Jesus out to his soldiers among the disciples. The only thing this tells us is that they all looked similar to each other. For many Bible scholars, the only place in the Bible that describes how Jesus was looked at is in the book of Revelations chapter 1 verses 14 and 15, which say that Jesus' hair was as white as wool and white as snow, while his feet were like burnished bronze, refined as in a furnace. This description certainly doesn't say that Jesus is a white man with blonde hair. Instead, this chapter and verse of the Bible indicate that Jesus had a dark skin tone and that his hair was woolly in texture. Yet, despite this fact, the Europeans chose to depict Jesus as a white man. And while some people have strongly opposed this fact, there has not been any proof to support their conviction until now. Recently, Russian President Vladimir Putin ordered that one of the holiest icons in Russia which has been hidden in a vault for a very long time in a museum, be moved to a cathedral in Moscow. The unveiling of these icons revealed that the idea of Jesus as a white European may just be false. These icons have now placed the idea of Jesus as a white European under scrutiny. According to President Putin's orders, the icons are to be transferred from Moscow's Tretyakov Gallery to the Russian Orthodox Church for a year. President Putin's actions bring the question why to mind. Why exactly did President Putin decide to reveal these paintings to the world at this particular time when countries in the global south are beginning to distance themselves from the West? Is it part of his policies to show solidarity with black people, especially those from Africa? No one knows exactly, but there is no doubt that President Putin is hoping to achieve something with this revelation. But that is beside the point. The point is, what exactly did the icons reveal? The icons depict the Oak of Mamre, where the three angels visited Abraham. And if you observe the icons, you will observe that all the people in the paintings are black. These icons date back to the 14th and 15th centuries and were brought together from private collections across Russia. Most of these icons were destroyed during the Soviet era, so the ones on display are those that survived that era. According to reports, there used to be millions of these icons, but now, only about 50,000 of them exist, and their survival shows the enduring testament of truth. Many of the icons were destroyed or sold abroad by agents of the Soviet government, while others were hidden in Russia to avoid destruction. In addition to the painting of Abraham and the three angels, the icons also depict the lives of Jesus and his mother, the Virgin Mary. And, as you can observe, the paintings are all black. For example, if you look at the Theotokos of Vladimir, a painting that depicts the Virgin Mary called the Theotokos, which means God-bearer or mother of God, cradling the infant Jesus, you would observe that neither Jesus nor Mary were black. Instead, their color leaned toward black or brown. Also, in the painting where the archangel Gabriel told Mary that she would give birth to Jesus, both Gabriel and Mary were painted black. In fact, in all the paintings where Jesus was shown, he was always painted black, 
And the interesting thing is that even the people around him, including John the Baptist and the disciples, were painted black. Now the unveiling of these icons, which revealed Jesus to be a black man, has plunged the world into a debate. According to some people, the paintings were not originally black, but they became blackened over time as a result of how long they had stayed in the vault. Others, such as Robert Rubin, however, believe that the black paintings have absolutely nothing to do with age. Instead, they are a measure of accuracy, meaning that the paintings were made to depict the actual color of the skins of the people who were painted. This means that they were black people. Robert Rubin also questioned why the clothes in the paintings changed to black if it was truly the case that the paintings were black due to age. In our opinion, this is an excellent question. Rubin further stated that the truth is that the true Israelis were black-skinned people, just like the ancient Egyptians. Unlike other countries, the Russians did not change their paintings. Instead, they simply kept the true paintings and iconography. Money Johnson also confirms this when he states that when the West decided to turn the black people in the Bible into whites, Russia did not follow suit. If you look at ancient maps, you will observe that the kingdom of Judah was located in West Africa, and based on ancient texts, the Jewish nation was destroyed by Titus, leading to millions of Jews fleeing into other parts of the world while those that remained were sold as slaves. According to Robert Rubin, the hatred of black people is not normal or a coincidence. Instead, it's because ancient Israelis did not obey the commandments of God, and as Moses told them in the book of Deuteronomy, they would lose their land to people whom they did not know. However, despite all these confirmations, there continue to be some debates about the authenticity of these Russian icons. But according to Alex Pixmany, a software developer and Catholic Christian, the Christians in Russia adopted Byzantine Orthodoxy wholesale, which includes iconography. And the fundamental principle of Orthodox iconography is that these icons may be the true depictions of Jesus Christ, the Virgin Mary, and the true Israelis. So from what we can see, it's very likely that for centuries, the West has lied to the world. And if this is true, it certainly changes everything. All across the world, the Russian icons have set the hearts of people aflame. But the fact is, this is not the first time that people have called out the supremacy of the West in depicting Jesus as a white man. Not so long ago, protesters in the United States called for the removal of Confederate statues in the U.S. Activist Sean King went further to demand that murals and artworks depicting white Jesus should be pulled down stating concerns about how the depiction of a white Jesus is used to uphold the notion of white supremacy. In his tweet in 2022, Sean King stated that according to historians, Jesus' appearance is more likely to be like the appearance of people in the Middle East rather than the white man often depicted in Western paintings. But Sean is not the only one with such concerns. Since 2020, prominent scholars and even the Archbishop of Canterbury have called on the church to reconsider the portrayal of Jesus as a white man. Speaking to the BBC, the Archbishop was asked whether the way Jesus was portrayed by the Western church needed to be reimagined, and his answer was yes. He said that he has been in touch with different Anglican church leaders from around the world, and he discovered that some of them did not portray Jesus as white. He said when you go into their churches, you see a black Jesus, a Chinese Jesus, or a Middle Eastern Jesus, which according to him is the most accurate. In conclusion, the unveiling of the Russian icons reveals that no matter how long it takes, the truth will always shine through. And the depiction of Jesus as white is false and simply a way for the West to once again show their supremacy. What do you think? Is Jesus black, brown, or white? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video.